Hey, hey, you know who it is. I'm Jonathan. I'm Montana Fire Pits. Hey! I'm an authorized dealer of the Warming Trends Crossfire Burner and a bunch of other stuff too. Um, so, uh, we believe life's just better around a big old fire with friends, okay? So, in this video, it's kind of a continuation of this uh, series. Uh, I'm calling it Fire Pit Planning. You gotta have a plan. Here's why. You guys are making an investment into this thing. You guys watching this are beyond the, I want a little toy fire pit burner that I get from a big box store. You're beyond that. You guys are legit. This is part of a landscaping project. I'm having my whole backyard done. I'm having a whole paver patio installed. You get the gist, okay? So in this one, we're gonna talk about uh, diameter and just sizing of that fire pit relative to the space, okay? So let's dive in. Um, let's assume that you have your space mapped out, right? Well, let's just call this your, your patio, whatever that is. And you have your fire pit. And of course, my scale is off, I apologize. But you have your fire feature, okay? We're gonna call this the outside diameter, and we're gonna call this the inside diameter. This, I'm gonna call the cap, what you set your drink on. Do you wanna prop your feet up? Do you wanna put a dinner plate around it? What is that cap, okay? And what's it made out of? That's entirely up to you. What goes inside of that, then, is uh, the plate and the burner. We know this. Your plate sits in here, okay? And your burner kind of looks like that, right? So you have this distance that is, um, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, entirely up to you. But those are the standard plate sizes that we have. And then each one of those plate sizes corresponds to a BTU burner. Now, important note here, we can mix and match, say, a 180,000 BTU comes on a 30 inch round plate but we want to bump it up to a 42. Yes, we can do that. Um, but I will say, and I've mentioned this in a previous video, stick with standard sizes. Because once you go custom, then it's a new setup on a CNC. It's a whole new piece of material. Uh, also, standard sizes, we ship them. Boom! Quickly. Standard's good. So, um, again, your total outside diameter is X, your inside diameter is X, but that inside diameter is what's going to determine your plate size. And we'll just write that down for you. Plate size. And the plate size is relative to the BTUs, right? The burner itself is not based on a diameter, okay? So that's not really how we roll. But I do have specs that you can download in the video description um, and some helpful information, a planning guide you can download that shows you kind of what that correlation is. With warming trends, it's BTUs and the plate size. So, make sense? Think so? As usual, like us on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, tell your friends. Jonathan Howie, MontanaFirePits.com. Thank you so much for your time and attention, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.